Hello folks and welcome back to Jim's EV Adventures where we explore the gear, tech, and truths behind electric driving. If you're new here, we dive deep into all things EV from road trips to equipment reviews with a practical, no-nonsense approach. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Lens Model EVSE W1-40-A. You've seen this EVSE on the channel before, but today we're going to cover it in a bit more detail. We'll walk you through what makes it tick, how to adjust the amperage output to suit your home setup or charging needs, and why this unit might be a solid choice for your level two home charging solution. Now, just a quick note before we dive in. Technically, this isn't a charger. The actual charger lives inside your car. What we're talking about here is an EVSE, a fancy acronym for electric vehicle supply equipment. It safely delivers power from your home to your vehicle's onboard charger, and it's a critical part of any EV owner's toolkit. And speaking of safety, the Lens EVSE is CTL certified. That's equivalent to UL certification, meaning it meets the same stringent North American standards for electrical safety and reliability. Let's dig into what that means and why it matters before we start charging. What is CTL? Well, CTL certification stands for Certified Testing Laboratories, a network of labs authorized to test and certify electrical equipment to nationally recognized safety standards. If an EVSE like this one is CTL certified, it means that it has undergone the same rigorous testing as UL listed products. In fact, CTL certification is recognized as an equivalent to UL certification under OSHA guidelines. So you're getting the same level of safety, performance, and code compliance. Just a different label. And with that, let's jump right into this piece of equipment. You're looking at a Lens 40 amp charger that I bought a few months back. I actually got two of these, one for each of the EVs that we have in the house. They are both currently set at 40 amps and they both do fine at 40 amps. However, we need to reduce the amperage on the uh, charger that we use for the Hyundai. The Hyundai, you can go in and actually set the percentage of power delivered to the car. But instead of doing that, I'm going to reduce this unit to 32 amps. And we're going to go through the steps in doing that right now. And it's going to be very similar to most chargers. I'll talk a little bit about the charger itself when we're done with this process. So let me go ahead and start by taking the front cover off of this uh, charger. We'll speed it up as we go along. ease this up. You'll notice it has a little light pipe coming to the LED uh, on the front of the system, but the LED is actually mounted on the board. We are now inside the system. Looks like it's doing pretty well after all this time. I don't see any overheating indications at all inside the system at all. What we're actually going to focus on today is here. These are the dip switches which determine the amperage that's delivered to the car. I'm going to zoom in on that and uh, make sure that we're setting it properly. So here we go. So the the dip switch settings for this are on the app. We're going to take number, it looks like number, well I got to figure it out. It's the, one, two, three, four. It's going to be the third one over from that position. So number three, which is right here where I'm pointing with the wrench. Okay, now that we're zoomed in on that just a little bit better, I'm going to take an ink pen, tip of an ink pen. It's one, two, three, four. 
this is the top of the unit and this is the bottom of the unit so the bottom of the unit points in that direction and the top is in this direction so one two three four we're to take number three and lower it down now this has gone from a 40 amp charger to a 32 amp charger simple as that now all we have to do is reassemble put the front back on it remount it to the outside of the house or to the mounting position inside my garage plug it back in and we're good to go so let me zoom back out and we'll get this process reversed while I have the top of the unit off I just want to show you the underside of the lid it has the seal that goes all the way around it this is a waterproof seal so it's very easy to install this unit outside if you need to it is quite safe to do so Okay, that's that. We've taken care of bringing this thing back to uh, serviceable use. I'll go mount it back in the garage here in just a moment, but before we do, again, this thing is not plugged in. It uses a standard 1450 plug, but I'm going to show you on the side here why we chose this particular series uh, of EVSE. It's actually not a charger. It's Lens W1 EVSE, electric vehicle service equipment. You can actually go to my link tree and find this unit through an Amazon link there for around well under $300. And this is a very good piece of equipment, very well built, very well constructed. Now let's go back to the garage. But wait, before we go to the garage, the one thing I have not shown you yet is the actual plug unit itself. So let me move this out of the way. This is the charging handle. It's got the logo on it, the lens logo. Other side. And right here, hopefully you'll be able to pick some of that up, is the caution and the rating. This is a 240 volt AC 40 amp rated charging handle. But you can see inside it's very high quality. This is metal. This is all plastic and you can see the size of the cable is more than sufficient. This is 3 by 10 AWG type EVE UL listed cable rated for 105 degrees Celsius or 600 volts. So this will handle all the power that's being sent through it. Okay guys, we're out in the garage now. I've already previously mounted this. You can see the screw here and here that holds the back or the plate for mounting. Once you get the uh, unit mounted on the plate, you're going to put a safety pin through here like that that goes through the mounting plate on the back of the unit and that will secure the unit in place. It's not going to pull off for any reason. So here we go. I'm going to install the unit now and put in the, uh, put in the wonderful safety pin. Here we go. So I'll take pictures showing the pin in and the point coming out on the other side when we're done with this particular video. As you can see, right next to the unit here is the 1450 outlet. That was previously installed. It was built when the house was built back in 2012. I've had that checked out. It is a very good plug. And you simply plug it in. Green light is on. I'm going to test it out here on the bolt in just a minute to make sure that it is charging properly. And we will go from there. 
Okay, now that I have the unit installed, I'm going to stretch the cable out because it's all the way across the garage. I'm pretty much extending this out to the maximum distance this car will go, or this cord will go. I've already charged my bolt. It's already charged to 80%. I set the settings to 90% to charge immediately. We're going to plug it in. And we should hear a beep beep. And there we go. It is charging. And I'm going to look in the window here, and it is ramped up to 5, 6, 7 kilowatts, which is 32 amps. Let's bring you over here to take a look at that. So here we are on the bolt screen. So this thing is working perfectly. So over here is where I curl the cord up and place it. We'll go ahead and put that in and all done. So to recap today, we looked at the lens EVSE-W1-40-A. We walked through what it is, how it works, and why it's more than just a simple plug and play device. I opened it up. I adjusted the amperage down from 40 amps to 32 to better suit my home circuit and car requirements. Then I mounted it on the wall and ran a quick test charge for flawless operation. Now you may ask why did I choose the lens? Simple. It was the least expensive wall mounted CTL certified EVSE I could find on the market and it don't feel cheap. The build quality is solid. It's compact but rugged and installation is very straightforward. And here's the kicker. I've been running two of these units simultaneously for over four months with zero problems. No hiccups, no overheating, no failures. Just consistent, reliable performance. For budget-conscious EV owners looking for safe, certified, and dependable home charging, the lens checks all the right boxes. Thanks for watching Jim's EV Adventures. If you've got questions about this EVSE or want to see how it performs long-term, drop a comment below. And as always, I'll see you out there or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody, and drive electric.